Bill.tcm.com right now and get your copy today before it's too late. Hey there, everybody. Welcome to Summer Under the Stars on TCM. I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Today, we have been celebrating the career of a forgotten treasure from the 1930s and 40s, Lee Tracy. Though Tracy isn't nearly as well remembered today as many of his contemporaries, we've tried to demonstrate with our selections that he was every bit as talented as many of them. Up next, Lee Tracy stars in an early role, one that helped define his unique on-screen persona the smart, cocky, fast-talking newspaper man. From 1932, it's a horror classic from Warner Brothers, Dr. X. A year earlier, in 1931, Universal Pictures had a huge hit with its release of the now iconic horror classic Dracula. And quickly, other Hollywood studios jumped on the fear bandwagon. This script centers around a wise-cracking reporter investigating a series of grisly murders. And when it came to playing wise-cracking reporters, Lee Tracy was your man. Nobody did it better. And while this is, at times, a hair-raising story, it has its fair share of humor as well, nearly all of which comes from Tracy. The cast also includes Lionel Atwill as the titular Dr. X and Faye Ray as the doctor's daughter. As you're watching, you'll likely note the movie's unusual look. It is not black and white, but it isn't rich, deep color either. The film was shot in the early two-strip Technicolor process, where colors were limited to various shades of green and orange. It certainly gives the images a distinctive look. From 1932, also featuring Preston Foster, here's our star of the day, Lee Tracy, playing the kind of role he's best remembered for in Dr. X. 